What is up you guys? It is Katya Volks. Welcome back to my channel and welcome back to my kitchen for an anabolic recipe video. Yes, this one I'm excited to do for you guys because this one has been in the making. I had to make this a few times, tweak the recipe just to get it right for you guys. So yeah, we're going to be making an anabolic, so high protein creme brulee. This is one that I haven't seen anyone else do before, so I'm pretty proud of myself for coming up with this. And not only is it anabolic being high protein, but it's also going to be vegan. So we're not going to do anything with like milk or eggs. So traditionally, a creme brulee has a lot of sugar, egg yolks, and cream. So it's just super high in fat, super high in sugar, but we're going to use a lot of awesome alternatives and it turns out so good. So. Here are the ingredients we are going to use. So instead of heavy cream or a milk, we're gonna be using the Silk Ultra Unsweetened. This in one cup has 20 grams of protein because they add a protein blend. So there's like soybean, soy protein isolate in it as well. And with that, it also helps create like already a thickness to this. So there's quite some viscosity in it already. Then we're gonna add some extra protein on top of it. Of course, some vanilla. So we're gonna be using Sun Warriors Vanilla Protein Powder. This is my favorite to like cook or bake with. It always comes through just so well balanced when it comes to like a vanilla taste that you won't really have to add like any extra vanilla extract to this recipe unless you want to. I might add just like an eighth of a teaspoon, but very little. And if you want, there is a coupon code down below. I'll put it up here as well, but the link is in the description box if you want to grab it for yourself. As for the egg portion of it, because it does give creme brulee kind of like a yellow tint, we're actually going to be using the just egg. So this is going to help create somewhat of a slight eggy taste to it. Even though creme brulee, you don't quite taste it. There's just such a richness to it because it's more of a custard. It is going to assist in the custard taste as well as give it a little bit of that yellow tint that creme brulee has. To help thicken it up, we are going to use some cornstarch. And then for a sweetener, you can use any zero calorie sweetener of your choice. We're going to use a granulated sweetener. I'm going to be using the Swerve. So this is zero calories. So even though it's erythritol and it says four carbs because of how it's broken down in your body, it is zero calories, so it don't count. So this is gonna be super epic. We'll go over the macros at the end. But for equipment, you are going to need a blender. I'm gonna be using my Magic Bullet. You can use whatever blender you want. It's not, it doesn't matter if it's not like a high powered blender because it's just like liquids were mainly blending up. And then we are gonna use the stove top and a nice saucepan. It's handy if they have like one of these like lips to help pour, but other than that, you will also need some ramekins for your creme brulees because that's going to be the last step. All right, so jumping right into it, we're going to need one cup of the silk milk, which is 240 milliliters. Next, we'll need two tablespoons of the just egg which is also, well, 44 milliliters for three tablespoons, so we're just gonna measure it out. Forgot to add, but we are going to need just a pinch of salt, like barely anything to help balance out the sweetness. One scoop of the Sun Warrior Vanilla Protein, which is 25 grams. A quarter cup of your sweetener. And then more for later as well. And one tablespoon or 10 grams of the cornstarch. Once you got that all in, just put the top of your blender and blend it up. All right, so this next part is gonna go quick because now it's time to put this in the pot in which we're gonna have it on a low heat and you're gonna be stirring it continuously because you don't want 
the milk to cause like a film at the bottom. If it does, do not scrape it up. So we're gonna be using a silicone spatula to stir it and help the cornstarch start getting activated in here. And then also I've got my ramekins ready so that I can just like pour it straight in there. So this part, you are gonna have to be patient and you are gonna have to go by feel. But right now it is super liquidy as I stir it, but it'll start to thicken up gradually. So keep it on low speed and you just gotta stir it. It takes five minutes maybe. Uh, so I have adjusted this heat just a little bit to bring it up but keeping an eye and continually stirring so that it doesn't create like a film on the bottom of the pan. All right, so it is starting to thicken up a bit, as you can see. So now it's ready to pour into the ramekins. All right, now that all that's left to be done is to pop these in the fridge for about 30 minutes until they firm up, and then we'll pop it out. We'll drizzle some more sweetener on top, flame it so that it hardens up, and then I can taste it with you guys, go over the macros and all that fun stuff. All right, friends, we are doing a voiceover as the parents, roommates, whatever you want to call them. You know, they're watching TV. Anyway, ugh awkward anyways so yes we have to do the finishing uh, touches for our creme brulee in which we are gonna top it off with our granulated uh, you know sugar replacement whatever again i'm using swerve i have also used this with like stevia crystals and it actually worked well so you can do that as well but anyways so yeah you're gonna just put like a thin ish layer however thin you want to make it i guess on top I mean, that's zero calories, so what the heck. Anyways, get your little flamethrower. You can find this at like Bed Bath & Beyond, probably Amazon. Children, ask your parents to help you out with this because this is fire. But anyways, um, so yeah, you're going to do this. It was running out of gas. Sorry, it took a minute, so that's why I'm like speeding up like crazy. But yeah, so you glaze it like a creme brulee and, you know, it melts and hardens like you know, sugar, and it's really awesome. So, yeah. Oh, ah. All right, guys. So, we are in my room just to finish off this recipe video. But how beautiful is this? Um, the little flame thrower, whatever you want to call it, was kind of running out of gas. So, I didn't get to make it all brown and pretty, like in the thumbnail. But regardless, it smells so good. Look at that some ASMR right now, but we are going to just dive right into this. Oh my gosh. Mm. Oh my goodness. That is, ah, see, nice and custardy. Oh yeah. That's awesome. Mmm. Mmm. Awesome way to end the night. Wow. So, so good. Now, if you're not vegan, you can totally do the egg yolk way. And then just do like a lower fat milk and then use something to thicken it, add protein powder of your choice. So there is a way to make it for anybody and make it anabolic. But of course, me being vegan, I wanted to make a vegan version. And so thus we have created this and it's delicious. Mm. Mm. And so yeah, the recipe makes four of them. In this is, t in one of these ramekins, 10 grams of protein, about four fat and three carb. So crazy. Mm. All right, guys, that was such a fun recipe to make with you all. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you found it pretty darn epic as well. And if you did, give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Let me know in the comment section below what other recipes would you like for me to make anabolic or like vegan anabolic. So I definitely want to make a lot more and try to make those that you haven't seen before. So not your typical kind, kind of like the creme brulee. But yes, so fun to make. Oh my gosh, it took a hot minute to figure out the recipe, but I did it and it's delicious. So go try it out. Otherwise, 
Love you all, and I will catch you in the next video. Bye.